Well, sometimes in this business, we meet a person we just can't forget. A dozen years ago, six-year-old little Jesse Hall traveled from West Texas to Baltimore's Johns Hopkins Hospital for a life-changing surgery. WJZ was there as Dr. Ben Carson removed the entire right side of her brain. The surgery was a success, and 12 years later, we decided to congratulate Jessie as she graduates high school and heads to college. How great to see you. Great to see you, too. It's been uh, a long time. It has been a very long time. Jessie Hall, now 19, ready to graduate high school. You like that? Yeah. When we met in 2009, Jessie was a lively six-year-old. But she had begun having seizures, and her parents learned she had a disease on the right side of her brain, Rasmussen's encephalitis. I remember lots of, like, staring into space, eye twitching, just being in a whole other dimension, really, and not knowing what was happening. Untreated, it would have spread and ultimately caused her death. So with the support of their entire town, her parents made the difficult decision to come to Hopkins and meet with pediatric neurosurgeon Dr. Ben Carson, who pioneered curing Rasmussen's with a hemispherectomy, literally removing the right half of Jesse's brain. Do you remember that you said to him that day, Are you going to take half of this more brain out? Would you like me to? Yeah. Okay. Then you got it. <laughs> yes, I remember. What do you think of that now? I kind of cringe at all the things that I said. I'm like, oh, I was very, like, outgoing. Yes, she was an energetic, charming child. How you doing, young lady? Good. You hanging in there? Yes. All right. Good. You ready for your haircut? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I remember getting my head shaved and prepped. I remember... All the people, just my parents worried and the stress before the surgery. WJZ was in the operating room all seven hours as they carefully removed the entire right side of her brain. They ordered mac and cheese for lunch. We were told with therapy and rehab, eventually the left brain will begin doing the job of the right. Weeks later, Jesse went home. We're going back to Texas. Jessie's parents were told her left side, left arm, and left peripheral vision would likely be impacted, but Jessie has adapted. It's pretty much normal to me now. So, like, when I'm in the classroom, I sit on the left side of the room so I can see the teacher a little bit better. I pretty much do anything I put my mind to now. Including in seventh grade becoming a cheerleader. Soon after her family moved to a town where not everyone now knows her story. I like that a little bit because I'm like, I'm at my normal life now. I can just be a normal person. <laughs> when someone does notice her slight differences. I just try to put it in a way that's not it's scary. Like just saying I have half a brain and that's why my left side of my body doesn't work. Now she is headed to college where she plans to major in child life studies, a program that helps frightened, hospitalized children become more at ease. I guess that made an impact on her because that's what she wants to do. Now 19, Jessie understands how hard it was for her parents to agree to such a radical surgery so many years ago. I'm grateful that my parents made that decision because they wanted me to have the best life that I could after that. Now, while Jesse's parents were in Baltimore, they created the Hemispherectomy Foundation. And over the years, they have helped literally hundreds of children and their families navigate through this difficult surgery from all over the world. All over the world. It's an unbelievable story. And she had an amazing team around her, not just from Hopkins, support from her parents and from her family. But that's what inspired her to go to college now. Mm -hmm. And she wants to help give back the children who are going through the same thing. Full circle. Yeah. It's really beautiful.